going to be a lot of, um, uh, a, a couple of, uh, there was a, a one guy, I'm trying to remember where he's at, that the Weekly Standard or Real Clear Politics, and I can't remember the, the man's name, but he had been making this argument of a missing white vote. That there was a bunch of votes that Romney could have had but didn't win. And and while the census showed that it was there, no one believed it was going to get activated because Trump didn't actually do work to activate vote. He didn't go out there with registered voter, but he didn't need to, as it turned out. They were listening. His I rhetoric also, got it there. That's right. The rhetoric did it. That should get out the vote. It's I, Donald Trump rallies. I also think that it became, for a lot of people, they didn't want to say this were for Trump because it was socially unacceptable in some areas. So they just kept it to themselves. And then the secrecy of the ballot is that they can go in and cast the vote for whoever they want to. And look, she has not been a popular figure for some time. We know that they were two of the most unpopular candidates who would ever run for president. And Bill and Hillary Clinton have been around for a long time, and everybody wanted change, and they wanted agents of change, and they were not there. But what is so stunning to me is that the Clinton campaign, which has always had a great reputation for knowing exactly where the votes are, David Pluff has been saying for a month, Pennsylvania, he's not going to get a vote there. I mean, why would he even go there? That And, and they've been talking Tom, about... I go back to, they just under... Everybody underestimated the rural white vote. Yeah. Everybody thought there wasn't enough white vote to lose... Hispanics and African Americans by the margins that he's losing them by and to win. But and it's we were a two-pronged issue. I mean, first of all, the white vote has been declining as a share of the electorate over the past several, several cycles. So a lot of pollsters are not factoring in suddenly a surge in white vote. And then if you see depressed turnout among the non-white vote and you're not getting those same numbers, I mean, that's how you get to a map that we're looking at tonight. By the way, one conversation we haven't had, we've been talking about recriminations. We started by the Republican Party. Right, and we and as the nights wore on, and we're like, a, I know where you're going. Well, let's talk about what's going on inside the Democratic Party now. There's going to be plenty of people that say, "What if Joe Biden had run? What would what if, what Biden would have been a real heir apparent? Um, what if did was was the Democratic ticket too white?" Mm -hmm. Okay, I mean, that's going to be if you look at the African American vote. There's going to be some people that say maybe she should have picked Cory Booker, and and, and the, the point is there's going to be that or. Maybe Bernie, Bernie Sanders, Sanders no. was actually had his finger more on the pulse of what's going on in America. Let's look at, let's, let's look think, at the way I, I think that the ticket was too established. I mean, I think that's really what it was, is that that she has been there for so long. She's talked in conventional ways about the about what the call of the Democratic Party is. And uh, her her vice presidential running mate had a wonderful record in Virginia, but he wasn't all that well known and, and that dynamic. So I don't think that they had the charisma that the white people who are out there are saying, I want big change, and they were sending those signals all along, we missed them because it would it would come and go and come and go, and then suddenly it's this tonight. Savannah, who's the leader of the Democratic Party? Oh, you oh, missed it because, because you didn't. I guess it's Elizabeth Warren. Let's look at the way the let's look at the way that the Clinton campaign closed this out. Yeah, there was an uplifting message yesterday, but the last several weeks have all been, you know, the ads talking about you know the things he said about women and minorities and disabled people, and it clearly didn't stick. I mean, let's remember a month ago we were playing when he sat on a bus, right. and people were openly saying, "This is it." We all sat up that night thinking he's going to have to drop out. This is this is fatal. There was nothing fatal in anything that he did. No other candidate could have said. That the things that he did, take in the positions that he did, take on his own party the way that he did, and continue to win one rally after another, one state after another during the primaries. This is and the Clinton folks said saying there's no moral equivalency with what he's done with 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 uh, her transgressions. No, and by no, the way, no, President no. Trump has a President Trump has no shackles. No. Yeah. He won this his way. He won this yeah. by trashing the press. He won yeah. this by trashing the establishment. He won this by by saying some things that we all thought you couldn't say. I mean, this is... He, he, had, he had one United States senator in the Republican Senate who was actively for him, Jeff Sessions this, of Alabama. All the rest of them ran from him. This is going to be, I mean, there's going to be no, the, the normal rules, there's no small G governor on him, on anything. It's is a, um, this is going to be a very, very different week. And if she, if she wins, there's no mandate. There's no mandate. She's squeaking across but the line. But Trump is going to act like a mandate, and if you're him, why wouldn't you? When everybody said right. you were done, and done by a lot. Okay? Hallie, Hallie, you've got some exits. Well, it's, it's interesting.